So here we have the Hyundai Tucson SE Nav Automatic on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we've got reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and then underneath this tray section a full size alloy spare wheel. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see that it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 24,922. You can change information that's displayed above that using buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, which we'll come back to in a moment. There are other menus available on the top, including satellite navigation, an audio menu, uh, vehicle settings and also user settings and then background to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, we've got stereo and phone control. So the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is of course, once you paired your phone up and that is done on the touch screen over in the center here. Uh, we've also got the radio over here. So this car's got FM, AM and DAB radio. If you listen to your own music, you can do, hit the media button. Nothing is connected at the moment, as you can see, but you can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device, including connecting your smartphone via USB as well. On top of all of that, this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing that working on both our website and on our Facebook page. And it has a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. So it does make it very easy to park. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures. You fan speed up and down from here. That button turns the air conditioning off or on again. Or if you wish to, you can push that one in and that puts it on auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. And you can hear it doing that. Just readjust the fan speed to turn the auto setting off. Uh, beneath that, we can recirculate the air that's in the car. It's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you set, of course. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. Under that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets, the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned before, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So firstly, that one turns on or off the parking sensors. This one locks the car in four wheel drive. This one will turn on the downhill brake control and this puts the car in either normal or sport mode. Whatever one uh, you're pushing, the information will come up. So if I press the drive mode, you'll see it says sport or off. The green uh, symbol will come up to let you know you turn on downhill brake control. So that's on or off. And the four wheel drive lock is just beneath that on and off again. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.